It's Tuesday, and you know what that means. It's time for another exciting adventure into the land of customization, toy rasterization, and nerdy talk all around. As always, I'm your host, Dave Wonder, and tonight I'm joined by some of my very favorite people in the whole wide world. Um, as you saw, it's that mystery guest, because tonight is uh, Matt's night off, and I put, put the call out and got answered by some very good brothers, indeed. Um, two of them are with us right now. Another will be joining us a little later on, uh, but first off, uh, you know him as, well, uh, you and I both know him as Eric Arana. What up, Eric? How's it going? Welcome back, dude. Thank you. I was, I was, gonna, I was like, I, I, don't, I don't have anything witty. Uh, <laughs> and then joining us from the depths of the kingdom of Atlantis. That's right. Some know him as Aquaman. We know him as our good friend, Bill Maru. Hi, Billy. What's going on, guys? Oh, shit. Aquaman yeah. candy. Nice. This is, my, this is my third one to find of uh, Aquaman characters in the old Hershey bars. How how old is that? I just uh, this is brand new. Oh okay, I did. It looked like no, yeah. This one's like this one's new. I've got I found like the uh, classic Aquaman and then an Aqua Lad, and then oh. this one the other day. So nice. Yeah. Oh nice. man, we got a bunch of folks chiming off in the chat already. We got Josh Bear in there. We got Shakes the Clone, Tano's in there, Fortnite, JJ Esteban, uh, Pendergast hey, in there. We talk about spaceships, three and five thousand Panthers in there. Thomas goes nostalgic. What up? What up? What up? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need that shirt, Bill says Esteban. <laughs> you have to buy the game, bro. Oh, what and up, Ender? Eric, so excited. Uh, my Nightlands Triax tri triax is on the way. Oh, yeah, nice Goof goofballs. What up, Shaggy coming in with them sweet, sweet emotes? Oh, if you get a golden ticket, you get a tour of the ocean. <laughs> that sounds like a threat. Uh, <laughs> well, it depends on it's, it's like a mob threat. Yeah. yeah, you get you get a tour of the ocean. Yeah. You, get, you get to walk along the fishies. Yeah. Uh, any more nightlands coming? Mm -hmm. uh, here for all of forty minutes. Oh no, Brian, that's okay. Stay and hang out. An ironic a twist: the Aquaman bars include two tickets to see the new Willy Wonka movie. <laughs> wow, wow. Hmm. Oh, Esteban yeah. says I have it, and it was mid. Uh oh, mid. is that the Evil Dead game? Yeah, but I got like, I got like the vinyl. And the shirt, and so the vinyl oh, shit, soundtrack was. The vinyl soundtrack's nice. Well, yeah, the game's not so nice. <laughs> but Dude, what, what was the one for PS2? Fistful of Boomstick. Yeah, that, that one. That one I think still ranks as my favorite. Is that the one with the little weird ash? Yeah. 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 It's I think it was voiced by uh, uh, one of the Raimis. Was he? Yeah, probably. Unlikely that, Ted. That tracks. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh. Hornet says, sort of on topic, since for tonight, since it's involved a hairdryer, the new single pack Donnie comes with a special hand for the spinny bow. The normal hands don't work at all for it. Um, mm -hmm. So the, spe the special hand that comes with it, I found that it because it's so tight, because the, the hand is like this to fit onto the effect. Yeah, there it is. I found that it kept popping out. So I just used the normal like C grip hand. I just oh, really? heated it up and popped it in yeah oh man oh yeah the little guy just went right in there for me well good for you no. <laughs> probably because i won't you know maybe it just knew it was it was donnie fade <laughs> yeah, um, i got lucky oh oh what up spike how's it going bud uh it is his strong hand. uh on that note uh what are y'all working on tonight uh we'll, we'll kick it over to eric you got that will never mind you can't show it you're working on that's right well i can show it i'm just i just can't i, I just I'm not going to say what I'm really doing with it, but I'm I'm painting a Care Bear, a vintage Aww. Care Bear. It's a it's a, a Care Bear product. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Billy, what are you working on tonight? I'm looking for it. I was just going through like all of my stuff. I'm actually going to be fixing a a Link figure for a client as soon as I find the dang thing. I just now got it. There's like <laughs> I have so much to do. Uh, so we'll see. All right. I just gotta find it. Forgiven says, also, Billy, don't break your thing. I'm gonna try not to. Uh, which, by the way, that shirt should be up this week. Uh, Nightmare says, have any of you gentlemen ever bought a figure for a custom only to love the figure too much? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, too many times. Um, I, as, as promised a long time ago, I will be actually busting in to a model kit. I was lucky enough to score this from Hot Comics and Collectibles. Uh, it is the Zero Kotobukiya Mega Man X kit. 
Uh, so I will hopefully be making some of the work tonight. Oh. Uh, if I get fed up and frustrated, I got a bevy of other projects I can work on. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's, let's let's crack into it, shall we? Um, Shaggy says, "Are you making an insensitive or intensive Care Bear?" Says, <laughs> "Oh, oh, intensive Care Bear is pretty good." Um, yeah, there have been many figures I've bought over the years where it's like, oh, right, this is going to be great for a custom, and I take it out of the mic. Oh, crap. This is going to be <laughs> awesome to keep. <laughs> yep. Uh, I ended up I having to buy two of those Asura figures, the green one. The which one? The green Asura. The, oh. Did you see that one? Yeah. I was going to make a, uh, a Ganon out of it, and then I got it in hand, and I was like, well, crap. <laughs> love it. You got starting lineup, Luka uh, Doncic, your quick kick can play basketball. Nice. I also just got into model kits, too. I bought a few Gunflow last week. Nice. I am uh, I am very curious how this will go, because I haven't done the model kit in a very long time. And it's all in Japanese. Here we go. Hmm. I don't know where to start with this. There we go. Oh, whoa. What the hell? It's a uh, Tears of the Kingdom. What is one going? sixth? Oh, oh, he's missing of... the front of his head. Yeah, he's missing that, that face. He's okay. Also... Oh, he's... was that a Metacom? Yikes. Um, what up, Iceman? <laughs> Do you think it is? I have no Maybe. idea. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't, I don't know half the brands. I swear of the figures that I'm sent. I just, if I haven't touched it before, then I want to. I want to fix it. This is a link figure. This is really cool. Sucks yeah. it broke, <laughs> but. Oh, forgiven says Dave. Did Matt leave any building tips for you to help put zero together? Nope. He just said if I have spare parts to send them on over because he lost a few parts to the blast the Buster uh, cannon. All right. So I am looking. I am. I'm looking. Okay, let's do this. Oh, you guys, I'm doomed. <laughs> really? I think those, oh. the Kodo, the Kodo, uh, those aren't too bad. I can do those. If I can do those, you can do those. Most I'm just terrible at model kids. I'm or maybe I just take. I, I take a long time. I take a very long time to do model kids. Mostly, I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, um. So the last model kit I did was Death Sight Hell from Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. So, it's it's that been. That sounds bit. impressive. Oh, Mr. Quick Four Twenty says, "Oh man, I can't believe all four loose collector wolves are dropping at the same time. That's going to be like four hundred dollars." Ouch! Not to mention, there's going to be a third Veteran William uh, variant. Yeah, that's going to be wild. Oh, what up, T.O.? How's it going? We talk about spaceship step by step, Dave. Those kits kick ass. Super Spike says, Yeah, Dave, if Billy can do it, so can you. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, Shaggy says, Oh, I'm going to bust my Brody King AEW figure open. Hell yeah. That figure is one for the freaking ages as far as deco hits goes. Holy hell. Okay. I'm, I'm slowly getting down to the, the bottom of this stack of bags. Ah, N. N is what I'm looking for. And I'm, a, I'm a giant fan of uh, graffiti on trains. I just like looking at that, and I kind of want to like take photography of that just to just to have it. And uh, I saw something that I def I, I I'd forgotten about, and now I desperately want figures for. I saw a beautiful one today as we were driving home of Spy versus Spy. It was oh, so nice. cool. It was so freaking cool. I was like, oh, I'd love to have figures of those, dude. Oh, I. Uh... My, well, my buddy Steve, who will be popping on here in a little bit, he had the, the figures the that they did on. direct or, ones? Yeah, dude. Oh, cool. I didn't even know they made those. They're real cool. Uh, they scuffed so easily. I remember his oh, brother yeah. just getting infuriated at one point because the white spy, like, the card yellowed. And he was like, oh, <laughs> like, just enraged because it's like... No, I left them in the box so that he'd look good forever. <laughs> it's like, ah, fuck you. <laughs> Oof. Uh, down the eBay rabbit hole, <laughs> Billy goes after the stream. <laughs> no, I'm not going to eBay for DC Direct. That's a <laughs> that, that, that's a roulette I don't want to play. Mm -mm. Oh, 
they're gorgeous. But DC Although Direct I... was, was I really uh, I was in um one of my local uh, toy shops the other day, and I was looking at all like all the used old DC Direct stuff they had, and and just kind of thinking back to it, and I was like, man, I kind of miss. I miss that company doing DC stuff. Yep. Uh, right. I miss, you know, the, them, like their own company doing DC stuff. Like, yeah. Toddy, Toddy Mac drives me up a fucking wall. <laughs> you know, I actually um, found a really cool one not too long ago and grabbed it. I've got um, the, I want to say it's the showcase, DC Direct Showcase, um, Jonah Hex. Oh, and, that was so nice. Yeah, and it was that nice, that clamshell and everything. I was like, yeah. I don't know if I want to open this or not. I was like, it's just... Yeah, it's got nice. such a nice... It's got such a nice, uh, like, slight dry brush of, like, light gray over the blue gray, like, yeah. on the jacket and stuff. It's oh. such a gorgeous figure. And everything, the, the, the scarring on his face just looks so good. I was like, man, yeah. this, is, this is super cool. Yeah. That, that will always be the greatest missed outline was it was towards the end of their run and they were going to do those dc luchador figures oh god yeah and oh, i was like no, no, oh no, won't that <laughs> like what? There what? Was, why have you forsaken me for me with uh with dc the the big lament is the uh the, those luchadors and that that next wave of uh icons oh uh, dude the yeah six inch, the six inch oh, figures man. that were like Sinestro and uh, uh, Blue Beetle and Booster Gold and, and the Gold. Purple Catwoman, like, oh, yeah. And that, like you said, that Etrigan was just right there, and you're like, oh, yeah, hi, like, oh, we almost got him. so close. They were big on doing the like, hey, you really like this line, huh? Well, we're not gonna finish it, we're gonna start something new, yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna switch art styles, or we're gonna. Try a super articulated figure where half the articulation doesn't really work that great. Yeah, like, they had their issues. Don't don't get me wrong. <laughs> there. Oh God. I like. I was working. So I figured out the other day. I've been working at Hot Comics for twelve years. Um, like on you know, I, I was started out like very very part time, and then was full time for a couple years, and now I just do their social media. But I still work for them, and. Uh, it was one of those things of I thought back to some of the crazy figures that came through while I was working there, and there were some good, there were some bad, there were some real ugly uh, <laughs> that came through during that time because um, we took in collections all the time too. And yeah, who it'd be always be interesting when like we'd get in a bevy of DC Direct figures because there's actually uh, two of the sculptors who worked a lot on the DC Direct line are local here in the cities. Mm -hmm. So like they bring in their their comps and stuff like that, and they said you're like here, look here's five you know giant U-Haul boxes worth of crap, and we'd we'd be you know taking out and looking through it, and then we'd get in like the DCUC figs from Mattel, and it's like twenty dollar figure, thirty dollar figure, yeah, twenty dollar figure, thirty dollar figure. It's like oh shit. He, uh, Panther says speaking of Spy versus Spy and Mad Magazine, I picked up those Twisted Toy Fair theater volumes. We talked about last week. It's funny how these strips are now backed in, baked backed into the DNA for shows like Robot Chicken. Well, a lot of the crew from Twisted Toy Fair Theater went over to Robot Chicken, um, which is kind of cool. Which but that might have been what you were referencing, and I just completely just right over my head. Um, and I apologize if that was the case. Um, is this right? This might be right. I don't know if this is right. Um, but uh, yeah. The, they're, so many, they're, yeah. Dude, I've got a ton of DC Direct on the wall, all the Aquaman figures, and I, I love that Blackest Night run so oh, much. Dude, yeah, the Blackest Night figures were amazing. <sighs> yeah, they're the, so yeah. cool. The the I I feel, I always felt that DC Direct really hit their stride with a uh, right around the New Fifty Two, uh, not New Fifty Two, the first. 52 first 52 yeah storyline where we where like booster gold was like kind of the main character and um like that that era like is where their toys like visually i thought they kind of finally settled on like a look and a style yeah. and blackest night was very much part of that kind of yeah. continuation um man that was nice stuff yeah well it is man it's it's one of the things that i actually i 
I'm really glad I never opened those just because they, they, the packaging was even nice. It was like part of the product. Yeah. Um, not to say that they're not meant to be taken out and posed, but I mean, the way they posed them. And I loved it whenever I love it when figures are posed in a package. Like, I just love that, that the fact that they're in there and they've got this like cool dynamic already to them. I mean, cause those sculpts were, I don't know, for me, it was like, I was buying wall art essentially. And yeah, yeah, I just love them. But there was a I remember the common trend back in the day when it was like, oh man, Mattel would put out these really cool, like you know, well articulated figures. But it was like if you like that style and aesthetic, cool. Or you could go back and grab like the hush figures, lop the head off, and pop it on the new figure, and you're like, Oh, yeah. I've got this gorgeous, you know, huntress head or the catwoman head and the accessories on this God, articulated I, body. I decapitated so many of those figures for people. Dude, it was like, just a thing to do. The uh, God, between those and the Danger Girl figures. Oh yeah. Hey man, um, I just my buddy just sent me that book. Dude, I, I know you you he sent it over in the Fun Five group chat. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, I have bought that book in so many different formats just because people are like, "Ooh, it's a booby book." I'm like, "Dude, it's a really well made comic book. It's a great like, book, dude." The is, intro by Bruce Campbell is just so good. It, it is. Yep. And uh, it's so good. The, yeah, it's just uh it's so it's it's yeah, it has it is one of those things that will always frustrate me to no end because it's like I know that there was supposed to be more of that, you know, that crew, that whole crew on on board, and it just it never came because everybody kind of took off. And it's like, ah, but yeah, like I, yeah, I, all the, go. all the other danger girl, like comics and stuff, never really, never, never really were quite there. The, no, I mean, there, there were some that were good. Oh yeah. But, like, um, God, was it Chris Madden who did a couple of them that were really, really fun? Um, cause I, I picked, I picked all those up. Nick Bradshaw oh, yeah. did a couple of them. Which Royal, were super... uh, John, uh, John Boy. Yep. Who like... basically draws j exactly like. <laughs> yeah. It, it was great. J. Scott Campbell, anyway, but. But, it's you know, nice. it, it, it was definitely one of those things of like the characters were so rich. And like you talk about cinematic storytelling. Yes. That oh, was it's just so where, good. Like I, I tried explaining that because all of my friends were like, <laughs> boobs. And I'm like, no. There's more. I mean, cool, but there's more. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just the stories are so, uh, they're they're funny and they're exciting, and it's just like I mean, I think Bruce nailed it perfect. It was like what do we say, like 007 and VIP and Charlie's yeah. Angels all all rolled into one. GI Joe. <laughs> yeah, GI Joe, all of that, and it's, it's just, so inspired by GI Joe. The whole thing, it's so much fun. The villain is that classic cartoon villain. Okay. I love it. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's a very, very fun book. Hey, thank you, Max, if you're watching for that book. Appreciate it. He's like, oh, I got an extra one of these. If you, if you why have you ever read it? And I was like, I haven't. I was like, I actually don't know much about that besides the, the I've acquired so many of those figures over time, yeah. not knowing what to do with them. People are like, oh, can you make a Mary Jane out of this? It's like, I guess. It's always I, been a uh, brand I would love. To, to make toys from, make a toy line from. But I, oh, I want to make like a deep cut toy line. Like I want to make all the characters and. Dude, Johnny Barracuda needs like five different versions. Like, come on. <laughs> if for no other reason than for the fact to be like, this is the Johnny Barracuda way. I, I, want, I want that. I want the Bruce Campbell. That's just in the forward. It's, yeah. it's, he's so good, man. I, I love that. That picture is so freaking great. I was like, oh, let's go. Yeah, this is fun. Very fun. Very fun book. Just an easy, easy read and kind of I miss I miss stuff like that. I don't know. It's very it's just stupid fun. Well, you have to have somebody who's like, you know, so many of the books, like the point nowadays isn't even it's like to everyone's got their eye on a movie or right you know and not just one movie they've got their eye on a on a trilogy or connected <laughs> like, universe guys, 
<laughs> yeah, like slow down. Like, yeah. j- how about just making telling a good story to tell a good story? Exactly. Imagine that's, that. <laughs> that's you know that's how I felt with um. Unfortunately, the show was what it was, but uh, I one of my favorite books is uh, Why the Last Man. I loved yeah. I loved it from like start to finish. I was like, oh, that was cool. Like you could tell he knew exactly. You know, he had his ending in sight. Awesome, very cool. Yeah. Love the ending graphics too, and then. I mean, obviously, he didn't write that with a movie in mind or a show in mind because that was God, yeah. however far away. And I was, I got really excited about that, and then I was kind of <laughs> nervous about that. And well, you know what? Nothing can take the book from me. Yeah, kind of weird. There's that. There's that. Like but. that was uh, one of my one of my professors my senior year. He had an opportunity to do a Netflix series. And he did, and I'm, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the name off of it, but it came <laughs> out, and it was not great. Uh, that sucks. It's definitely one of those of like, hey, Mixie says, Boss Fight Studios, Viber Nine figures confirmed. Uh, <laughs> dude, the uh, yeah, the I don't know, like it. It's it's always fun to have those properties, and I. I Unfortunately, I feel like Campbell is one of those dudes who will pitch that stuff and be like, I have this really great idea. And then it's just, it's almost out of range of what he can, he can conceivably do on his own. Yeah. Like that was wild ciders. Like I've talked to him at length at several shows of just like, dude, if you want to do that, like I'll hop on, I'll do whatever you need for that book. Cause that wild ciders was the, uh, they had like animal powers, right? Yeah, Was they had hol- holographic, rigid yeah. holograph or holograms. I actually have a signed promo poster by Campbell over on my door, uh, leading to the back room that I I've had forever, and it's just like ah, it was so fun, and it only made it like two issues, and then just kind of died. I think the one thing that would really really help with this is if they color coded shit. What up, Toygikasaurus? Hello, Blue Cat. Mixie says, Billy, you can't take this guy from me. <laughs> <laughs> I will say props to Kota Bukia on, like, look at that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Just... Oh, he says nice and transparent. Yeah, god dang. Oh, I mean, my... models is kind of their thing. Like, yeah, yeah that's where they got their their whole run for oh this is l not j uh whoops yeah. no, no, no. k c a a uh c and now i have to now that i took this out of the bag i have to put like the effects one over where i won't scratch it Uh, Tano says, hi, Dave. What up, guys? Long time. Wait a second. I know you, Tano. Um, Panther says, speaking of great art from the 90s, this new Marvel select Captain America is incredible. Every time I look at this figure, it reminds me of Ron Garney and Dan Jurgens run for Heroes Return. Nice. F. P. E. O. I'm starting to realize why this might have been sitting there. I think this is missing a, a piece. No, it's not. There you go. Gee. Solved that for you. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> See. Okay. Maybe. M. <laughs> PCK. Let's try. I got a tool for that. A. Yeah. C. B. A, B, C, N. You could say this episode was made for kids. Right? 
Look at you. H. D. <laughs> you had triangle. Boom. <laughs> yeah, boot cat, pretty much. He looks like a handyman. <laughs> yeah. I oh, maybe. I will return in just one minute. I've mm -hmm. found a, All a right. different room and find something. You never yeah. know when you're going to need the triangle. Ba -ba -ba -bum. So this is ridiculous. All right. They had five pieces that were all shrink wrapped together and wrapped together and are all different pieces. Goji King says, screws make the world go around. Indeed. I keep them around to fix joints. All right. J1, J2. Thankfully, these snips are sharp still. Um, oh, Panther says, red triangle. Are we talking about Batman Returns? No. Man, I watched Batman Returns the other, well, about a week ago. He kills a lot of people in that movie. <laughs> like, one of those things you don't really realize as a small child. But then you go back and watch and you're like, oh, god dang. <laughs> like... When he puts the what? bomb in the dude's pants and just kind of throws him off. Like, oh. All right. All right. That was a pretend bomb. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, Billy. I do. It's Batman. Batman doesn't kill people. Unless he's Ben Affleck, Michael Keaton, or <laughs> <laughs> Christian Bale. Doop. So I like that. This, this slot in there? No, that does not slot in there. Does this slot in there? Oh, this is made for much more uh, dainty fingers than I have. Okay. Woo! Well, there goes those. Uh oh. <laughs> Adam West killed the shark, did he? He also technically killed a whale, if you remember. Thank, thank God that migrating porpoise. <laughs> <laughs> gallantly sacrificed himself. The poor guy. Somewhere Aquaman is weeping. That could have started World War Three. Oh, there's Eric. Poink. Hi, Eric. Back. Goji King says, speaking of triangles, it's always bothered me that triangle shaped for measuring tool is called a square. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's... Mm. It just is what it is at this point. We could change it, Billy. We could be the change. Think about the children. I do. That's why we should go fucking metric. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're the other day, he's, he's, we were talking and he's learning Spanish right now. And, and we were going through a bunch of different, um, you know, measurements and stuff that he's learning. And he's like, I don't understand why this is this way. I'm like, why? What do you mean? And he's like, well, I'm reading, I, I have my textbook and I looked in his textbook. I'm like, it's all in metric in the back. I'm just like, oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, sorry, buddy. Uh, Awok is getting close to three hundred thousand. Hell yeah! Yeah, dude, we uh we hit two ninety tonight and unlocked Merrill. You need to run out and dig deep, dig deep. It ends tomorrow at six a.m. So is get wild. your stuff in tonight. That's a crazy time to end that. <laughs> Jason's like, I thought it was six p.m. I'm like, Jason, <laughs> God, I mean. They're killing it right now, but he was like, try to get your stuff in by Tuesday. Um, oh, man. So many cool things. So many. He's going to have a transforming loot. Which is wild. 
Oh, I'm so excited for that. I wish I could be part of that team to figure out how to make that work. <laughs> Whew, that'd be fun. Uh, oh, Cat says that crazy email they sent out about getting anything that doesn't make it in it, in its initial Kickstarter is pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, pump, I pumped out that 89 bucks for that Mamba. I want that elephant. I right. want that. That's cool. Thing's gonna also, be... that hippopotamus is freaking sick, too. He said they might make it the mouth hinge. So that was neat. It's going to be nuts. <laughs> yeah, dude. There's so many cool characters in there. I'm like, well, why don't we just slow down and just save those for the next one? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, because I can't. I can't do it, man. I want to be that. I I tried to sell some Mezco figures uh, so I could go do the Epic all in and nobody wants Mezco figures anymore. Yeah. It's kind of that way with one, six the, figures too. The list, the, the, the lust. Listing to eat your heart out, Rick Springfield by the mouth of the South Jimmy Hart as we speak. All right. <laughs> right. On. Uh, what the crap? Oh, there we go. Okay. I do enjoy that that's actually a little deco. Like that's a little pain hit for his Z shoulder pad. Um, let's see. What is this? I'm looking for B. Oh, this is B. All right. How in the hell do you get this thing off? Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, man. The I saw a couple people... Uh, sent sent me messages today. They're like, "Are you going all in on this?" I'm like, "I, I, I cannot." <laughs> like, yeah, no. I wish I could. I really wish I could. But I'm like, that's that's like that's virgin on house payment territory. Uh all right. Yeah. What is it like six six fifty? And right now, if you go in, if you go all in, as right, right of this point. I think you'd be getting just shy under a thousand dollars worth of stuff. Yeah, Goji says, Dave, stuff. can I get you to sign a Red Eyes Black Dragon card in Chicago? I'm not going to be at C2E2. They waitlisted me, uh, so I will actually be up at Kane County uh, for the Kane County Toy Show. So I'll be there all weekend. Um, so first time this is year 15 of C2E2, uh, and I got benched. I've been there every single year. It's been a show. So bummer, but. Decided to to make uh, lemonade from them lemons and get to go look at a bunch of cool toys. <laughs> that is it, it, Eric. Have you ever been to Kane County? I've not, dude. Um, I, I stand by. I've been trying to get Billy to come for a couple years. Uh, it's insane. It is one of those things of like it is the ultimate flea market. Like oh, just, I do like shows. I love shows like that. Me too. I, um, and it, it is. I'm just throwing it out there. 2025. It's our year, boys. I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna have uh, funds and stuff to do uh, Joe Fest in Georgia in June. Oh, right on. June, July, something like that. I don't know, but I'm not positive yet. Uh, I I did a show. I did. I actually had a table at the last New Jersey Collector Con in um uh, over by uh philly in cherry hill and uh oh, nice. that was a lot of fun that shows that shows always great like it's super random what's always there i always find like super random things that i end up buying that i'm not Those looking for the best for. though yeah, yeah that's what I, I, it's my favorite type of show that is the uh the last kane county well i was at kane county last year uh and that was where i just randomly found this dude who had a bunch of crash dummies and they were just in ziploc bags and i was like you know i wasn't this wasn't on my bingo card because i usually try to make a list of like this is the weird stuff that i would like to go after yeah um and they're like i got those and i got uh a santo arena fig um nice. from mexico which was great you know and, and, but by no means would I, I say a fine figure, but you know, it's one of those that I just, I really, I, I had one growing up that was pretty generic, um, to put it lightly. And this one just, uh, it's neat and it's a solid piece. 
Bukat says, dang, I miss those crash dummy figures and vehicles. They were awesome. Shaggy says, you don't know who you'll run into. Dave, Colt Cabana, Bill McKenna. Dude, I, I hung out and went, did a little hunting with Colt Cabana last year. And uh, I did say hey to Bill McKenna two years ago, which was pretty neat. Um, very nice fella. Who gets a surprising amount of heat from folks. And I don't understand why. Like, he makes cool toys. Just let him make the cool toys. And this says, at Kane County, I actually managed to find the Dino Riders Brontosaurus in box. That was remarkable enough. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's there's a couple vendors there that they bring shit. And it's just one of those things of just like, I don't understand where you found this <laughs> like or how you found this. Like, there was a guy who had a uh, boxed um, a boxed uh, Channel 6 news van. Dang. Like, Dang. Ooh, how? Like, how do you find that? Like, it was one of those things where you see the box and you kind of go, oh, that's cool. Like, there's no way that the the, the thing is in there. But then you see it and you're like, aha. Uh -huh. How? Oh, man. I'm going to have to modify this a little bit. Oh. Motorcycle? <laughs> no. Uh, lawnmower. Oh. Oh, fair. It's probably like where you're at, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not here. But you know where it is, Light? Over in sunny Las Vegas. Hey! hey! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hey, not a whole lot. Sorry I'm late. No, you're good. You're good. Oh, Turns out... Uh, when you get done at work at five, and your wife has to also get done with work at five on the other side of town, and then pick you up, and then come back. It's uh, you know takes a little bit. All good, but all good, man. I'm here. Well, I'm good, and I've got a little project. Hell yeah! Welcome aboard. Awesome. Happy to be here. I'm I'm working on my first model kit. It's uh, the Gundam Death Scythe Hell, but I think I made. Hanging out with you a bajillion years ago back at my mom's house. That sounds right. Okay. I could believe that. Um, I got a lot of um, uh, G.I. Joe Classifieds recently, and I got a second Alley Viper. And I don't really feel like, you know, army building Alley Vipers. So I decided to start cutting on him. And I had this uh, custom head I'd made previously. Uh, oh, nice. That looked way too much like Bane. But uh, <laughs> nice. on a different body, I mean, not giant body, it looks different. I already chopped up the vest. I gave him some different arm bracers and a new gun. Um, oh, yeah. And uh, basically, I'm going to uh, pour some hot water in a cup and uh, pop open the torso because I also have a new belt for him. So, oh, nice. Yeah, I got a, another little lot of uh, accessories that I'm hoping to use with him. Oh, so yeah. I am probably going to excuse myself. Oh, and the other thing. Uh, he needs a helmet, so I'm going to use the wonderful dual inventions of epoxy sculpt, and if I can freaking find it on my crowded ass desk, ah, this lovely blue stuff. Oh, nice! Hell yeah! Mold me another uh, Cobra Trooper helmet. Hell yeah! So, Ooh, this is neat. Hot water will need to be poured. I am very curious how this will scale with the Jada Mega Man now that I have the head together. Ooh. Nice. Little zero action. Oh, what up, Adam? How's it going, bud? Um, all right. Holy crap. <laughs> Sorry. Because I have not done one of these in a very long time, some of these instructions are very intimidating. Such as that one. <laughs> All right. So. Shit. Uh, what up, Abs? How's it going? How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, oh, Steve, I don't think I got to show you this one yet, but I, I'm very... Oh, Steve's gone. He's getting that hot water. Um, I think that zero and it are taller than Mega there, Dave. Oh no, for sure, because it's it's a he's a maverick, so he's he's 
full size Human as opposed to Mega Mega Mang. Um, although I just realized, how does his hair clip in here? Does his hair clip to the back? Ooh, curiosity ensues. Um, but yes, I'm going to stick his head up here for now, I guess. And I'm going to take out the parts of C and D. That's Street Fighter, not Mega Man. Same company. C. Oh, no fair. D is two separate pieces. Trying to play WWE online right now. I don't think it works proper. Yeah. It usually doesn't. That's never happened. happened before. What? A wrestling game not working properly? <laughs> what the heck? You know what works very well? I need to get out there and serve up some Liberty and Helldivers 2. <laughs> oh, Billy, I got yes. Ghostbusters working. Ooh, yeah. Oh, we just, uh, the community just unlocked some, uh, a new suit too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you can hop on there and just get it. There's like a Stay Puff shirt that, and there, a t shirt. And then there's, uh, this really cool new deco that the mm. community unlocks. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Boo Cat gets it. Hell yeah. Just spreading that managed democracy. Mm -hmm. We don't need any thought crime. Just get out there and do it. So I need C six three three six seven eight. R two D two. Boba three. Okay. Oh no. What did that do? Oh no, there we go. <sighs> Gotta fix another bloody mess go. Three. Sod. What is this guy's name? Sod Cutter. You you heard of this? This. Creature? Oh yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I don't remember with that helmet. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like like. like he Sod, looks like Sod friggin' Sanders. uh. Oh, rusty yeah. spoons. I love cats. <laughs> Boy, this is what happens? This is how I sit at work. Like this is what's gonna happen to me soon. Like, <laughs> why does my back hurt and just? Ooh. Steve, oh, hot pads, yeah. man. Watch out. i to bring in that hotness. It is. Ow. Uh, yeah, that too. He's <laughs> also bringing that. That's fine. What do you mean, bringing sexy back? I'd never left. <laughs> never left. I've been here this whole time. <laughs> uh, Six, seven, so first things first, pop off a leg. <laughs> oh, what the like? Am I gonna He's pull in numerical up? order. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Don't skip the rules, Dave. But I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, they're duplicates. I see. I was like, these aren't in numerical order for shit. And I'm like, oh, because there's two. Two plates of them. <laughs> <Bruh>. Ugh. All right. <laughs> He's got these. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, ah! Don't like that. <laughs> okay. And I, I kind of like that paint deco. Actually, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. That that looked like straight out of freaking uh, Eternia. That is some Grayskull shit right there. It looked like a Scooby Doo villain. I think that's what they were going for. To yeah. Be it's like ah. Oh, uh, it wasn't sod cutter, it was Dave but, Johnson, the freaking evil landlord. Like, Come on, why do I gotta be the sod cutter guy? Esteban, yes, salad fingers. Yeah, hundred percent. There we go. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff right there. <laughs> there it is. There's the sugar. Steve, it just there looks like there to get <laughs> There's the sugar. Right behind the honey. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty spoons. <laughs> All I can imagine is Dave like Homer when he built his outdoor grill. A little bit. It's kind of how I'm feeling at the moment. Be Why can't Dave's look like that? Dude, these instructions are driving me up the fucking wall. Like, he ends up building like a rocket ship. What, the hell just what are you happened? doing? I don't know. I don't know, but I'll see you on Mars. Good luck. 
I'm goddamn big oh. man, cuckoo for two. Oh, shit. All right, okay. I'm going to once again uh, say that if you're ever in a hotel and uh, you see honeys, even if you don't like honey, grab these little things. They are going to be your new paint pots. Oh, yeah. Tiny bit storage things. And it's going to be the mold frame for what I'm about to cast. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, um, I got, didn't they have those at the place your wedding was at? I'm pretty sure they did. Okay, that's uh, where I got those from. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I get these from like hotels in Vegas that I work at. Like anytime oh, yeah. there's a, a coffee like uh, yeah. craft table out, it's like, oh yeah. Well, Dave, you could be Bone Saw's apprentice by going as that character, true. Hopefully you have better luck than me with stickers. The cool thing is all there's Dude. no stickers on this. Oh man, Esteban's escapades with <laughs> You should see this fool try to put together a, a, a model kit. I watched him struggle with this Buzz Lightyear, and it turned out it turned out kind of glorious because one of the eyes was like taking a different flight from the other one. And so he looked like after like Buzz, you know, takes that dive and his eyes are all kooky. And then <laughs> one of the springs doesn't work <laughs> well on one of the wings. So when he presses it, the one pops out. The other one's like, hey, can, can, can. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, as it's just it's too much. Whoops. It cracked me up. Uh, what am I going to just say? It's, it's uh, Mrs. Nesbitt. <laughs> Kid, I mean, every time he sat down, he's like, I'm going to finish this buzz. And it just ended up like just in tragedy. I was like, oh, sorry, man. We're never going to get a good ending out of this story. I will always funny. I'll always remember the oh god, what was it? It was the the prowler. It was the the hot rod that came out in like the mid 90s and it had like the separate wheel wells. Like it yeah, mm. so goofy looking. My brother had a model kit of it, and it was one of those things of the the I, I don't know if like it was missing a connector or something like that but he'd be like yeah it's so cool you can go like this and you know it, it works really well and every single time the front wheel wheels would go <clears throat> and just go flying and it's like oh, it's not supposed to do that <laughs> like, like, oh. keith rainville just back to awok gotta have that chameleon and the weapons pack or chef's kiss indeed esteban that was my Dude. first idea till it pissed me off <laughs> did you that uh i didn't realize that until jason told me that chameleon's eyes are articulated yeah, yeah, yeah. What? That was on the first press release, man. Like that, I think that's the coolest thing about that figure. Like, it's a great looking figure, but the fact that you can have it doing like the wall-eyed thing and yeah, that, you know, I didn't even know that. And I was like, I, I was in. I like, I like the chameleon. I think I thought he looked cool, but what? <laughs> I was like, that's amazing, man. But each each figure has something like uh, something a little special to it. It's pretty cool. All right. It's pretty blown away. So by here that. we go. Got my little. Helmet plugged in here, oh, nice. a little crumpled up plastic wow. on the bottom to take up space, and uh, yeah, hopefully this uh, molds out pretty well. Might be some little wrinkly lines, but hey, obviously <laughs> goes go a long way. Exactly, uh, and yeah, got the belt on him. Yeah, loving that look. I do need to kind of sand down the back of his head though. The head uh, was the extra one that came with uh, this weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, oh no! For the venom. Yeah, it's just like the non like angry head. I was just like, yeah. What do I need this for? What? Yeah. Why are you going to have him going? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's going to contemplate like, about destroying the universe. But I'd already modded venom enough. I'm like, there's there's no resale. This is this, yeah. these are mine. <laughs> I love reaching that point with figures. <laughs> just like, eh. <laughs> just there's no point in keeping this factory anymore. Yeah, exactly. It need, it need not know what I do next. I will say the engineering that goes into these model kits is extraordinary. Like, Absolutely. Just, it's friggin' wild. <laughs> Phuket says articulated eyes and jaw. Yeah, buddy. That's a that's fun factor. I love it. Oh, no! No, he needs to pop back apart. He doesn't want to pop back apart. 
There we go. Hit when you think you've gotten the nubs and, and sprue bits. Oh, oh damn it. <laughs> Dude, my uh, Cheyenne and I got our nails done uh, recently. I have gels. These things yeah. look insane in like real life. They've got this like cat's eye color that makes them like chromatic. And yeah. because I mentioned that I like customize action figures and use nail files, uh, my nail tech gave me her like hardcore like nail file. Oh. Like, oh hell yeah, cool. yeah. Just do a little wet sanding. No, I lost part of his ab section. <laughs> oh no, my wife has as many. Well, I don't know, close to as many polishes as I have figures. She's a loves doing her nail art only for yeah. herself, though. She's like, I, I'm not doing it for other people. <laughs> She's like, no, I can't do that. Found it. Whew. Yeah, this is like hardcore stuff. Like she uses like a UV hardening, um, yeah. like stuff. Like, it's yeah, yeah, it's gonna last for a minute, man. Yeah, I know. And I work with my hands. Like, I'm a stagehand and I like do AV tech work. Like, and my nails are so brittle. Like, I have to like keep them super short. But like, with this, I don't have to worry about reaching into a case and grabbing a bunch of cables and like ripping my fingernails. It's awesome. That's awesome. Right. Yeah. And because I'm a giant, no one gives me crap about it if they notice I have painted nails. Like, <laughs> okay, that's your life decision, gigantic man. We'll just leave you be. <laughs> like, Thanks. Ingram, try explaining to your non-collector wife why you're super gluing all your G.I. Joe crotches. Yeah. My favorite is whenever I'm like stripping paint off of a figure or something, and it's just one of those really, really just awkward bits if you don't know what's going on. And someone walks in and you're just like, hey, what's going what's going on? <laughs> don't don't worry me. Let me do another little thing. Um, I am making uh, this uh, mostly uh, appropriate but very lewd um, battle lady in this tiny nice. little armor thing. I'm going to be gluing like uh, ammo clips and grenades all over the straps. But it's like barbarian tank girl. Basically. She's also going to get one of these little G.I. Joe classified uh, ankle knife sheets. So we're oh, going to cool. pop her foot off and pop that on. Since I've got hot water here. Moist. Did I, I do this upside so down? I'm glad you made time for this. I definitely did just do this upside down. God dang it. Oh, no, I didn't. Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha, sucker. Yes, nice. Uh, oh, God. Why did it have to be pop rivets? Because yeah. it's a macro figure. <laughs> <laughs> You've just been having all the luck with that lately. Uh, yeah. Luck. <laughs> Sorry. God dang it, I hate this. I gotta find a I gotta find a bright green for this one. Bright green, bright green. Who's got bright green? Wow, that is such a tiny tolerance. Dave, huh. did you see 30 year anniversary of the premiere of Space Ghost Coast to Coast? Yep. Dang. At that moment, I faded into fucking dust. <laughs> <laughs> right. I What wow. was it the other day that it popped up? It was like 30 years ago. I'm like, man, I remember. Wow, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Welcome to your later 30s. <laughs> and the crowd goes, wait, what? <laughs> no. no. Ah, nuggets. That was all the way to a stupid point, and then it's like, get it upside down. Esteban, that was me the whole time with the buzz kit. Yeah. 
There we go. Hey, now it looks right. Ah, man. I'm just going to be cursing at this thing, I feel like, the entirety of this stream, and it's going to be fun. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Hey, you, you've earned the right to be a little delusional. Okay? My problem hits at the point of realizing, like, there are so many different pieces in here that it's just like, wait, <laughs> where, where do I got to go from here? I recently got a couple of uh, model kits called 30 Minute Sisters, and no, not 30 minutes, <laughs> definitely longer. Oh. Like, I, I would show you one of them, but um, there was a, a, a small incident where I was drilling a hole in her back, and oh, I no. used the wrong bit, and uh, the whole kit went spinning, and uh, part of her arm is still missing. <laughs> oh, yeah, that tracks. The uh, what was I, I I was fixing the other day, and I got a phone call, and I, I didn't realize my I had I had my phone like on me on me, like it was in my my pocket, like I yeah. thought I had it plugged in like across the room, and it it startled me to the point that I just went ah like that, and I went <laughs> with my ball bit, and I was like well. Oh. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Ooh. Thankfully, it was a part that I needed to cut out anyways, but when building something and it says 30 minutes, that's just how long you start till you start scanning. Right. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Much better profile. I can't hide them. One, two, one, two, three. Also, man, okay, uh, well, okay, I guess I'm the only one here who's probably in the bluey wagon at the moment as far as watching yeah. it on a regular basis. But uh, I didn't, there was a new episode that dropped, and my kids were really excited. And I didn't know that the usual bluey episodes are like eight minutes long, this one was 28. I didn't realize that, so the other day I was like, yeah, we can watch a Bluey, and oh, that new episode dropped, and I turned it on, I'm like, fuck, this one feels like it's taking forever, and it ended, I'm like, oh, well, the pasta is definitely overdone now, <laughs> I was thinking like, oh, this will be perfect, like, that'll boil, it'll be done, I'll go in, I'll drain it, it'll be perfect, no, we had pasta goo, <laughs> oh, no, great, damn you, Bluey, <laughs> That was an entertaining episode. That's good. All right. Does that need to? Oh no, it doesn't. Uh, muffin cupcake. Healing. Yeah. Mixie's watching. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, recently got some new battle verse Ooh. and even though i didn't get the regular uh version of eclipse i did get her accessory pack with oh, a nice. crazy screaming head and a uh, standard uh soldier body and now i'm going to give her extra cover girl um straps for her legs so. One of them. So bluey, not blue paint mess with Dave's custom day. Indeed. Not not this time around, at least. Another day. Um, oh, yeah, I suppose. Oh, gosh. Well, that just exploded. Here you go. Do you feel like a champion? Do you worry that you don't look like a champion? Try Enhancement Talent Clothing and Gear. At our state-of-the-art facility, you'll find... Wall Art. Not one, not two, but a spectacular three cats. This thing, top of the line sewing equipment that Enhancement Talent has used to make. Enhancement Talent clothing and gear. 
Let us take you to the top of the card. Hey. Another, Mc... another McFarlane figure to the rescue for another repair. <laughs> what are you gutting this time? Uh, I'm taking the hand off of this uh, Carrie Kelly. Oh. And then we'll mod that little wrist joint to replace the broken off half in between here. And then get back to it. Pretty close in color. Thank you, Todd, for giving us so much plastic at such a discounted rate. <laughs> Dude, I was when I was in uh, Arizona uh, at a Walmart to get other supplies for work, I went by the toy section because, of course, I did. <laughs> and they had the um, Batman and Robin McFarlane wave, except for um, Robin. I was so tempted. It was $16 a piece. Like, this nice. is the first time I've seen them in person. And I'm like, why are they this cheap already? Like, when did they come out? Like, mm -hmm. but... they came out about two months ago at this point. I guess I they were... I mean, he just turns out so much fucking product. Yeah, it's great. I was at Ross the other day, and for five dollars, they had all these Black Adam figures, and I was like, "That's so much good plastic, like that I can just use to fix other figures." Right. Five Hi, bucks, Mitch. Man. That's right. ProWrestlingTees.com. Oh, not Coj. Uh, Dave Wonder. Just saying. Uh, they, they, Coj was too short. <laughs> yes. K is green. K is green. Yes, I'm learning. I'm learning, you guys. You know, it's another <laughs> sign that you've gotten old when something you grew up with is in the classic category. Yeah. I don't know. It's a lot easier to find my music now. <laughs> you could just go to the grocery store and listen to it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what was it the, the other day that got me? It was like, God dang, I'm trying to remember now. Oh, it was, um, I turned on 107.9 here in the cities, which is cool 108. Um, and they, they played Green Day, followed by No Doubt, followed by Real Big Fish. And I was like, what just happened? <laughs> I, I am both excited that I heard Real Big Fish on the radio. Right. But at the same time, I was like, oh, no. I heard Real Big Fish on the old station. <laughs> what happened? I remember the first time I heard, uh, I was in a grocery store, and I realized that they were playing Metallica and Motley Crue. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, that's crazy. Like, I remember a time when they weren't, like, they weren't even allowed to play on, like, the music award shows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like you know, like <laughs> it was a big deal the first year Metallica finally got to play, like because that type of uh, like heavy metal was never allowed. Yeah, <laughs> like what is happening right now? Yeah, your heart kind of jumps a little bit. You're like, wait, turn yeah. it up, turn it up, turn it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. I love that. Let's see. Ooh, gee. Oh, that could be cool. The uh, yeah. That was damn near made me jump. You know what I'm saying? Uh, weird, weird time. Um, That's me. Whenever I saw like a re the reveal of like the Cowboys of Moo Mesa figures, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna buy those again." Yeah, dude. <laughs> I was like, I, know. "I don't remember how many I had as a kid, but I have one in my bedroom right now." You had the like, buzzard. I, I had the buzzard, but like that, I, I don't remember seeing it uh, in Connecticut. So, no, I just that's I just always remember you had the buzzard. That that was the only one that I remember. Yeah, dude. Um, no, I had um, like the the I think it was a bad guy, and he's like the card playing like purple cow. He's in my office right now. Like cowboys and Mesa, like that is another dangerous thing. Like I, you know, <laughs> worried about getting into. Like I'm already yep. winding down on origins since the line is kind of winding down like at this point it's just like all the stuff that was hard to find to begin with and now stuff's coming out directly to um you know mattel collector so oh man i just love the idea of having the biker mice the cowboys of mumesa and my bucky o'hare figures like all on the same shelf it just makes me 
just really happy. <laughs> yeah. Like, so cool. Uh, I want all of you guys to buy the biker bicycle from Mars so they will eventually make the one character I want in a new scale, which is Evil Eye Weevil. <laughs> oh, uh, that would be, yeah, that'd be wonderful. Guy with all the articulation, like, yeah, that would be badass. Like, yeah. I, I've been looking on eBay for a deal to get a new one because, like, mine is just like this is the toy I played with as a kid. Like, he's yep. scratched to hell. Like, I don't know what Dude, the hell was wrong with me, you but I was blew like, that thing up so many times. I know. <laughs> I, Steve, Steve was like the stereotype Sid kid, like from, <laughs> from Toy Story. And I say that with love because he, without Steve, there probably would not be a chop and shop, to be quite honest. Um, but like, I remember there were there were times that figure was like strewn through like five different figures, like where you try and attach attach the head or the torso or something to something else, and then eventually you were just like, "Wait, I like this figure." And it just, exactly. No, like, nah, man. Like, I think things. honestly, like, um, like pull apart and reattach has to be one of my favorite, you know, all time play features. Um. Yeah, I loved the uh, what was his name? Was it Ghoul from uh yeah. he came he came he had the, like, little trench coat and stuff? What yeah, a, and, and, he, the and, the, and they didn't go whoop. Yeah, dude, yeah. that was a really cool figure. I loved it because it's like you can't really break it, right? Yeah, you know, really. you can't really break that unless you really he was gummy. Yeah, yeah I love that figure, man. He's one of my favorites. Great. That's another revisit I would throw money down on. Oh, that'd be wonderful to see that. D. I still want to buy that executioner figure. I had that as a kid. It was one Dude, of the first same. figures I think I bought from a friend, like with change. <laughs> yeah, I love that figure. I was like, oh, he's got his I knees. Have that figure, he's right over there, and he is fucking worth it. The new that one. Big... Yeah, the X Men ninety seven one. Yeah. Dude, it's so good. Although a lot of people are throwing out the, he has like a little plastic tube over the end of his gun. That's right. actually supposed to be on the gun. That's part of the gun. And people are like, no, it protects the nib of the gun. And it's like, why would they do that? Yeah. Oh, Mitch fucking Bucky O'Hare, what company put those out? Now uh, that was, they made toys back in the day, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> that's what, well, the Boss, Boss White Studios. God. We need some beautiful Joe figures. Someone did beautiful Joe figures back in the day, yeah? Really? Yeah, they. I t Steve had them. I did. Yeah, Joe, really? or maybe your brother did. Maybe you're they were to, uh, Google who that friend because, like, I, I, I think I maybe saw like pictures of statues, like in magazines. Yeah. But like, I, again, my my memory is garbage. So yeah, I remember seeing some of the statues as well. I was like, man, I would love to have. I'm a, I, I must have missed those. Mm -hmm. Ugh, would love trying to, to think. I think these are them. They were not great. Right. <laughs> I, rem I remember that. Uh, they existed. Boink. Oh, wow. Well, I, there's nothing There's nothing to that, huh? I no. do vaguely remember that now. Oh, man. I bet you could put those on a, those oh, heads on an Android you know. body. Ugh. Yeah. Be awesome. Hell yeah, Shaggy. Macho Lock for the win. Those would be really good Nendoroid figures. Oh, for real? Yep. That reminds me, I still have to get my wife the uh, Nendoroid Barbie because one of those heads is just especially cursed. And oh. Wait. that would be <laughs> the best reason. Because, like, um, it's uh, a screaming. reproduction of, like, Barbie number one with the black and white uh, bathing suit. Mm -hmm. And it comes with a head that is in that style, but it's, like, more of an Android, like, kind of uh, anime style. And then they have their version of like her most iconic 90s head sculpt but on a nendroid body just a nendroid size it just looks so insane <laughs> and my my wife collects barbies in a very special way like she loves like barbies that are good but she also loves stupid and ugly barbies <laughs> <laughs> so i just feel like that they'll go great in her collection my wife has like the what is it i guess there's there's five spice girls right is that yes. right? It was five. So she has like 10 figures all in the boxes from whatever it was, I guess, whenever their movie came out and whatnot. Yeah. I was like, I was like you never opened these? She's like, no, I just like the way they looked. I was like, that's kind of all right. 
All right. Shout out to Steve's brother, who was a friggin' Spice Girls video game champion. Oh my God! Back, right back in the day, so we could get that uh, that dumb secret level where they're performing, sitting uh, new delusion in their chairs. Yeah. <laughs> Memories. Very very bizarre uh, special for a children's video game, but okay. <laughs> Based off a performance they did at least once, I think. So, no idea. I just Amazing. remember uh, <laughs> coming over one time, and Jimmy was up in the kitchen play, and I'm like, "Is that the? Is that Spice Girls? What are you playing?" And it's like, "Oh, it's a Spice Spice Girls video game." It's like, "Oh, okay, right." right. <laughs> I, I didn't know there was a video game up to that point. I was like, I, I think at that point, Steve and I were mainlining WWF Warzone. Yes, we were, Dave. Nice. Yes, fuck we were. <laughs> oh, so, my God. I remember... Like, only 37 after... steps, and you can do a Bronco Buster. Yeah. Oh, Billy. Unhinged custom wrestlers. But, uh, Drunk, Gizmo, go, uh, Drunk Gizmo Customs is asking, Bill, do you still take on repair requests? Uh, I, I do, but I'm not right now. Yeah. Um, you could always mess. I, I don't have like a, um, professional way of reaching out to somebody when I need work. Cause I never need it. It's just always here. You kind of catch me at like just a good time. That doesn't help anybody. I'm sure. But, uh, people, <laughs> people tend to get lucky, I guess. Um, feel free to message me on um, Instagram and, uh, I'd be interested to see what you got. Shine the bill symbol in the sky. <laughs> yeah, the, the Maru mask hits the clouds. Absolutely. I feel like the Maru symbol is when you're handling a figure and you just go, ah, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, it's like, it's, it's like the horn of Atlantis. Like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> really just perks up and gets excited. He's yeah. Like, Somewhere a figure has fallen off a shelf. A new that sound, yeah. It's that sound from the other room that. Yeah. Fell off the shelf. I heard it. Uh, the other day, that was in here, and I was like, "Oh no!" It's the scariest thing, especially if you just put up a new one, and you're like, uh, "Please, God, not a don't be in the triple digits." And the funny thing is, I I had just set up my like Marvel animation shelf, and I was like, "Yeah, this looks awesome." And then I heard that I'm like, "What was it?" And I came in here, and it was like a a Dan Housen figure had fallen over. And I was like, oh, well, that's easy enough to put back up. Oh, Drunkismo says, okay, I think I reached out to you on Insta a year or so ago about a Mafex carnage. Oh, God. I bet it's an elbow or a damn knee broke. I bet right. it's an elbow. I put money on an elbow. Um, yeah, I, do, I came in the other day and my, uh, my NECA crang. My big old android was on the ground. Oh, no. and I was just, I just knew, I just knew that little fork was going to be off of his head somewhere, but it wasn't. He was in half though. And then I found the crank two days later. So, <laughs> nice. so we, we got him bicep. Oh, oh, I was okay. all excited. Uh, when I got my, when I got that crank, I opened it up and there was a spare fork in the, in the like package. Like, oh, outside yeah, no, you're right. yeah. Well, cause there was two of them, mm -hmm. but then there was one that was just like rattling around. Like it must've. Oh, out. you got an I'm extra like, one. Yeah. Cool. Oh, Drunk Gizmo says it's a bicep, actually. All right, yeah, that's common. Yeah, the one you that like I'm assuming it just keeps popping out. True. Crane's uh, a big old boy. Yeah. yeah, he was a big boy. Him and uh, I saw my. I want to say I saw a Rocksteady on the ground as well. I was like, what the hell happened in here? No, <laughs> he's wrestling. Come on, man. You boys wrestling again? Don't be, don't be quit that. Last that's thing I need. Come over there. <laughs> I will fight you. Dude, do not give me a reason to buy that new Bebop and Rocksteady. Please. There's not enough going on for me to buy them. And <laughs> Ori got them. He took his old ones off the shelf. He's like, well, these feel like antiques. Got the new one. He's like, God, this is so much better. The quality. I was like, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I don't need to hear it. I won't play your game. Yeah. Oh, drunk is going no, it snapped. Oh, no. God dang it. Oh, that's going to be a little harder to fix. <sighs> At least that red plastic's easier to match than some of the stuff I've had to deal with here lately. God dang. That Mezco, bruh. <laughs> that Mezco Michelangelo shoulder. 
not fun. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that I ended up. I have to post it. You have to, it's it was crazy, man. I ended up cutting the outer rim of it off and yeah. super gluing it on to another piece because I couldn't find a green that really matched. But then I found a green that matched, so I was super excited. But it was smooth on the outside, and those joints, those wow. hard plastic joints, are freaking sculpted. Both. Both halves on the outside are sculpted. It was like, great. So I had to find a way to match that, which was essentially taking the piece, that original piece, shaving it out, and then putting it around the other deal. I was like, cool. This is... Been there. Oh, my God. Shut <laughs> up. To the toy box of doom. Thanks for that one. Just had a toy fall as well. No. Oh, no. But not off, just down. Like, ah. he was, it was... um. <laughs> I got the uh, like Baroness and the twins uh, Hasbro Pulse Pack. Hmm, cool. And uh, they're all just kind of like hanging out on one of the shelves. I don't know how, but the Cobra Eel knocked him over. Like he's got the freaking fins on. Like scuba fins, baby. They'll take everybody out. Hey, yeah, I got a whole shelf of those. It was dangerous, man. <laughs> Clearly, I had no idea. Actually, yeah, I have two. Cobra eels, one of them still in package. I'm going to try and throw it up on the bay at some point or something. But what did you guys think of the Rage Toys Don Notello? Ah, I liked it. It's a great way to refer to him, Don Notello. <laughs> I've just been referring to it as Not Donnie. <laughs> Donatello is really cool, but the Splinter is to me tops. Like that Splinter figure is nuts. So good. You know, it's funny. Remember, we were all going off about like uh, that Michelangelo and his his, his his like jaundice eyes. Like he's got them yellow. Yep. And then Donnie's got yellow eyes. Yep. I was like, oh, but they're not as criminally insane as. <laughs> I, I said it, I said that in the, the the turtle talk chat. I was like, but Donnie's got yellow eyes too, and everybody's like, no, he doesn't. <laughs> like, but. Yeah, I, at him, I, I was like, oh, I don't remember that. Looked at him, I was like, oh, because they're not. Painted like glowing ping pong balls. Hey. I do. It's a bit crazy. Ping pong balls. That figure's, still, that figure's still awesome. That Mikey's going to be like the best one, man. The, Very good. You know why? Because Mikey's the best turtle. Because he'll have more articulation. And Mikey's Because he'll have more, more articulation, Dave. That's the answer. And because Mikey's the best turtle. That's it. He's not going to top that splinter, though, I bet. Splinter's Billy. sick. Hey, Billy. Go ahead. Billy. Go ahead. Say it, Dave. Billy. No, 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 no. Sign yeah, I gotta look at you. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> no, see, no, Billy, Billy. Oh, that's gonna look cool. It, it's the sewer surfing Mikey hoodie. This, da, da. Yeah, I don't get what am, I, I look like a creep if I walk around in a trench coat. <laughs> okay, that <laughs> is great. <laughs> that's Once pretty again. freaking sweet. I won't lie. Mike, Mikey's the best. <laughs> it, it even has the uh, that bubble pack. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> I, I did that. not think about it the other day I wore this thing to Target and someone was like Michelangelo I was like I didn't pay any attention to it and then I was like oh I bet that dude was talking to me because I had the Mikey hoodie on oh well I had the worst trip to Target the other day me and Ori had a real weird one this kid oh, no. was walking around and he was like we were in the figure aisle and he comes walking up around and he's probably like 11 or 12 and he's like hey brother and i was like yeah don't engage i don't know what's going on here and then when he does it again and i'm with there with ori and ori looked at me and i was like Ugh, uh <laughs> as i look up, i was like who's this kid talk to he looks at me and he's got his finger up and he goes hey brother and i was like this is this is strange i don't I don't like this. I was like, hey, man. He's like, all right, have a good day, brother. And walked off, and I was like, what the hell just yeah. happened? And then you could hear him doing it to everybody. And then he started getting closer. So we we were looking for, like, some uh, some red duct tape to put, like, on Ori's, like, taillight for just a quick fix. And we went the long way around because we could hear him getting closer. Like, like the Jaws theme music was, like, playing. <laughs> I was like, that kid's going to like, hey, bro. Hey, there. Hey, there. <laughs> I was like, why is this finger up, bro? I'm like, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, that was not a good trip to that. I hated that. Every minute of that, I hated that. So, that, that was a bad target experience. 
<laughs> I was uh, I was in uh, in downtown Las Vegas yesterday with a couple friends. I got a new tattoo. I might show off in a second, but uh, we were waiting on a ride to get out of there because it was getting late, and we're like, yeah, we don't feel like spending any more money out here. Um, and this guy with the weirdest voice like comes up to us. <laughs> He's like, like, hey, friends, what are you all getting up to? And I was just like minding our own business which you should probably do too and just kept walking and he was just taken aback he's like that was rude like, okay. <laughs> i don't care i'm not engaging don't don't want it I was like, 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 nope 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 that was us man he's a <laughs> he sound like a he sound like um oh my gosh who is it uh buster bluth Hey brother, I was like, no man. I was like, maybe, oh, maybe no, you tried to a bit, you know. Where are your parents? Oh. Nowhere what? nearby, that's for sure. Yeah. No. Showed it's too much Peggy's of our development. The, the username is Sketch. Uh oh. Well, it turned, it turned into a thing where we said he was a ghost. He was a kid that died at Target. <laughs> that we were the only ones that could see him. Oh, that's not funny, is it? It's not a good joke. It's a little funny. It's a little funny. I mean, <laughs> it's a little fun. Sounds pretty it, funny it, to it, me. It, 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 it's funny until you look up an article and you find out there was a child who died there. Oh so man, it messed me up. I mean, that, that, it's a picture of that kid. He's like holding his number, like yeah, finger up. Oh no, he not looks, again. He just thought he oh. just looked at everybody as a brother. Yeah. <sighs> Oh yeah, still roaming this way. Target. He was run over by one of those electric zambonis in the Target. Yeah. Now he's doomed to roam housewares. He's <laughs> roaming the figure aisles and uh, electronics, right where I wanted to be. He's like, dang it, damn kid. Okay, so Dave, I'm pretty sure you've got hardwood floors in your oh, I'm space. <laughs> Laminate. Well, you know, you got like a yeah. like solid floor. What about you guys? Yeah, first thing I did whenever I moved yeah, into this work. house was I tore out all the carpet in this room and put down my own flooring. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm not. I can't do carpet. Smart. Just bad news bears. <laughs> it's yeah. smart until like things like drop and just like a guitar pick disappear. <laughs> yep, I'm doing. I'm looking for something right now. Like you just. As soon as you said it, he, he is to roam the figure aisles because his mom never got him the Joe flag back in the day. Yo, hey, brother. Was Target a store back then? <laughs> that was, yeah, not what where was I it? lived. No, yeah. Kmart. Yeah, yeah, we have Kmart's and Bests. Mm -hmm. I was gonna, I was gonna say the funny thing is Kaniki was originally from kind of out more in your area now, Eric. <laughs> like mm -hmm. it's from that that New England area. Oh back. yeah, that's not where I'm from. Well, I know that's not like, where you're. Yeah. I'm saying where you are now. Yeah, but when he was a kid, you know, Kmart has been haunted for the last ten years. Oh, Dude, Kmart. there's an abandoned Kmart in Las Vegas, um, and just no one's done anything with it. It's like a part of a little like strip, and just everything vacant on this corner. And the next corner over is a Target, and across the street from that on the other side is a Walmart. Like. That's messed up. Like they're just taunting it. Like, yeah. How does it feel to be so empty? Yeah. But Freaking like, I Kmart. look at that Kmart. I'm like, man, like, I would love to like get Go access in. to that and like do a photo shoot in there, like get some girls in there, do something crazy. But I just like need to find out who to contact, like who who owns this, you know, empty building. Kmart is for them. Called the called the blue yes, eyes special. Yes, the That's true. <laughs> Billy's target was a Montgomery Ward. <laughs> <laughs> my fun interaction after the plunge, my windows were down. I had my wrestling playlist, and the acclaim came on. And a dude heard it and ran up to my car and yelled, "Scissor me!" Nice. <laughs> that that uh, that was one of those instances where I, the last time AEW came through town, I forgot that they were. And my buddy Matt, uh, who is a huge acclaimed mark, made foam fingers before they had made foam fingers. And he just goes, Dave, Dave, scissor me. And I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> it took me a second of like, 
Why is he gone? All right. Uh, good times. Oh man, Kmart. I I remember the Kmart over here. Now it's like a billion different things. They split they split up like the whole strip into like five different things. It's very weird. But I got, I got the, from there. which Kmart are you talking about, Dave? Are you talking about the one 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 seven? That was like up the road from the Target and had the Burger King in the parking lot, right? Yep. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's now a it's a Northern Tools, a furniture store, a clothing outlet store, and a extreme pickleball court. <laughs> Good times. Came out with something. I, uh, yeah. Man, yeah. my brother used to work at that Kmart. Like... <laughs> what? Oh, Jimmy used to work at that Kmart. I remember. Oh, man. I know you remember. I'm just like saying it out loud for <laughs> nostalgia's sake. Remember. I thought you said oh, your brother was born in that Kmart. I was like, what? There's a story, <laughs> dude. Like, what? Yeah, my older brother. He was born in a Kmart. Oh, all right. That's, I mean, yeah, you got to be born uh, somewhere. No, actually, my brother was born into a human trafficking ring, uh, but that's a longer story. <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> after the stream, after the stream. <laughs> well, that just blows Kmart way out of the water. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that was a story over thirty years in the making. I remember Steve telling me that story the first time, and I was like, "You're fucking with me." And I'm like, "No, that makes a surprising amount of sense now." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Turns out, apparently, the whole adoption um, uh, system as we know it in America is largely based on the theft of uh, poor women's children uh, yeah. to resell to wealthy individuals. So, you know, land yes, of the land of the free. Yeah, land of the free to get fucked any way you want. That's the fun way. But you can't go to a Kmart. Mm. <laughs> Bringing it back around. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bring it back like you gotta put the whole well, you want to come it, up you know? with a really tragic story for that little boy in the Target. Yeah. Hey, brother. It's <laughs> brother <laughs> human trafficking and. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> the ghost of a traffic target and child. Oh, child no, labor. No. Bye, buddy. Love you, buddy. I still have Steve in my records. That's very true. Hey, oh, yeah. thank you very much. That's amazing. There's there's uh, Mr. Eric's socials, which I think most of those are still still up and around. Uh, we, yeah. we, we still got time. Mitch is just heading out a little early. Um, Mitch has real job. That what? treats him well now, which is good. Mitch, Mitch. Oh my God! Why are there so many of these parts that aren't numbered? To taunt you, Dave. I guess. Fucking <sighs> <Okay>, a. <laughs> I'm ready to punch this stupid thing. The one with the golden headlock. Ah, uh, there we go. AI is taking our jobs a little bit. <laughs> I had someone message me uh, about cleaning up AI images. They were like, hey, how much would you charge for this? I'm like, go away. No. Yeah. The answer is no. Yeah, get out of here with that. Yeah. I didn't do anything. Can you fix it? <laughs> Wait, can't you just... I mean, that is sadly what a lot of your these... prompt until it's what you want? Mm -hmm. I yeah. Spent... Yeah, what did we see on that, Dave? It was like, I spent hours on this. Yeah. And did nothing. So, it was oh. definitely one of those things where... I try to be professional in in all my email correspondence, but it took a lot of will not to be like, get fucked. Man, uh, dude. Yeah. How, how insulting to an artist. Absolutely. Absolutely. Goddamn lutely. Oh, that's no worse than the... Uh, my, my new favorite is from Indeed. Thanks. Thanks, Indeed, by the way, for these uh, job recommendations is AI art prompt uh, director, AI oh. prompt, uh, oh, God, I can't, technician. That's a big word now. Wow. Yeah. And there's like companies that said they weren't going to ask, they weren't going to use it are like now backtracking because they're realizing how cheap it's going to be. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, I was so <laughs> angry. Valiant, like the comic company, posted a thing that's like, hey, looking for, you know, 
AI prompt uh, technicians. Engineers. And I'm like, Engineers. What? No degree needed. Mm -hmm. like, do you pay them to work there? Like, I don't yeah, know. How does that work? I just sat there for a couple of minutes, dumbfounded, and I was like, unfollow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so sad, man. There's a few Instagram accounts that I used to absolutely love. And then it just started turning into that. And it's yeah. so obvious, too. It's like, I don't have to steal anyone's images anymore. I can just prop them myself. How I about that? Like... Art. <laughs> mm. that uh, hashtag AI art is such a... It's a funny one. The cursed AI art, especially. Yeah. I apologize if that's exactly what you said, and I just repeated it. No, 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 no. I just no, no. I'm saying that that AI art is just a funny hashtag to me. Now, I do, I do love, I do love terrible AI. Yeah. I, I but I can't. You know, if you support that, you know, you're exactly. It's uh, Ugh, that's so unfair too, because. Oh, it's so fun when it tries. I, I hope it just like um, Bitcoin and <laughs> NFTs in uh, another year, they'll come up with the next uh, tech con and people will just forget about it. It'd be nice. It's, it's it would be nice. Yeah. You saw it in the AI cover winning Spawnary. Yep, that sure was a thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I noticed that uh, it, that cover just silently disappeared from the... Uh, they're runner-ups all of a sudden. And I'm like, oh, imagine that. Uh, you don't say. Like, good. Good. So I heard some stink that some recent Batman is suspected. Yeah. Yep. I don't get it, man. I mean, yes, it's easy. But. That's all you had to say. Yeah. And cheap. Well, it's easy and cheap, and unfortunately, like that's that's all a corporation is going to look for. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Mitch said I was walking away, and someone said NFT. <laughs> <That's his hip. laughs> Mitch, I don't remember. Did I send you the the fuck NFTs button? I don't remember if I sent that to you or not. I got one for you last time Aaron was through town. Mitch Craig says, speaking of AI covers, Dave, have you heard the Jim Ross AI covers? No. That sounds like a bad time. Uh, it's the, the sauce boss getting covered. Um, D19, D22. Huh? What? Oh, what the fudge? It's so wild. Like the uh, overlay for the Alley Viper like has a bunch of notches on the inside. And yeah. Then like the the torso has those same notches and so like okay i'll fill those with glue put this on there they don't actually touch <laughs> like, <laughs> like how did you engineer that <laughs> tried it <laughs> didn't work out yeah 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 it's more super glue <laughs> the only thing i could think of is if it was uh tooled for a smaller body Oh, I don't think things so yet. Also, I also have a plunder link to send you. Okay, Mitch, I'll I'll try and get that in the mail. Uh, actually, can you send me your address on the Discord or the Instagrams? And I'll get that in the mail probably tomorrow, actually. Um, oh no! I just jumped a sprue. Yeah, we're gonna find like, yeah. I like that classifieds is stepping away from these like full torso overlays. Um, yeah, except yeah. in certain situations, but I do kind of love when I find an extra one to customize it and just like cutting out the bits. And like, uh, I think it's with the um, uh, the, the, the the first viper, well, the the three pack of like all vipers. Like, I cut up one of those into a belt and like a you know, like chest harness. And it's so much cooler. I mean, you get the ab crunch back. It's like, oh. And I, I do enjoy I, the thing that I enjoy the most about, just in, just in general, about GI Joe Classified is the sheer potential of like what you can do with them. Like I, I've been having 
I've been having fun kind of futzing around with them. Uh, but like, I just got this dude and I actually ordered a, another head for him because there's a guy that made a Larry Hama custom head for tunnel rat. And I was like, I was like, Oh yeah, that's gotta happen. He's going to go up with my, my, uh, Kirby and my Stan Lee and my Steve Ditko custom. Like <laughs> Thomas cousin is probably just opened metalhead. He is the new Dick bullets. No, no, sir. Cause you cannot beat. Dick Bullets 2099, The Living Laser. <laughs> uh, oh. I don't ask why I have that on my desk. Uh, actually, so fun fun thing. If you want to get a Dick Bullet signed, that's right. If you want to get the hood signed by yours truly and any of the folks that you see here on the channel, Walmart has it up for about five bucks right now. So go get your Dick Bullets. Send it my way. I'll sign it up. I'll throw some stickers on it and shit. It'll be fun. Uh, in fact, there may be some giveaways coming up very, very soon. Just saying. Uh, lifelong toy collector. No notes. Hashtag Dick Bullets 2024. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, nice have you. Be good. Are you sick of politics? Dick Bullets 2024. <laughs> <laughs> There's no better I, option. I was crying the other day because... I, 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 so I saw the sale, uh, for, for the figure, and I was like, oh, like that'd be cool. That'd be something funny. That's you know a good giveaway. That is something unique and something that now is easy to grab. And so I was like, okay, how many can I order? And it was like five. I'm like, oh, that's fine. Like that's that's a good amount. I don't think I need more than that. And it canceled my order like outright. And I'm like, ah, thanks Walmart. Um, so I was kind of like, ah, oh, whatever. I'll try again tomorrow. So I tried again the next day and it went through and I was like, oh, good. So I get a box of five dick bullets in and I'm like, Hey, all right, cool. And then the next day I get, you've been charged and my canceled order of dick bullets came in the next day. So I had 10. I'm like, I did not want 10 of these. And so I had to contact Walmart because I was like, hey, um, you canceled this order. So I put in a new order and this is what happened. And I haven't received like a return form or anything yet. So we'll see. There might be a lot of giveaways coming up of, of that figure. I'm not, not entirely sure. As an owner, owner of a Dave Wonder signed Dick Bullets, I can vouch. It's awesome. Dick Bullets, the only politician who won't screw you or your paycheck despite his name. Also, those stickers are coming in soon. I ordered them a while back, and they're shiny. Ooh. Man. I got really excited because I found the, the they had a sale on the, the hollow foil uh, from uh, Sticker Mule. Yeah, Somewhere. dude. Like, yes! Did you see, man, they've been doing uh, temporary, uh, temporary tattoos, too. Yeah, I wanted to get I have to think about getting some Gilmore ruins, man. Uh, I, I, I missed it. I missed the fucking. They'll, they'll they'll pop back up. They always do. Oh, I know. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. worried. Um, but yeah. F three, F six. Also, I am just flabbergasted at how many pieces there are. E. Ooh, I haven't opened these yet. Okay. Dave, you really were left with canceled. Order. Yeah, I mean, again, it was the thing of, hey, it's canceled. And then they're like, yeah, hey, we charged you. So it's like, oh, fudge. So, again, uh, I might be returning some of those two bullets, but we'll see. Watch, now the hood figure is going to be like a $70 figure in like two months. It's going to like skyrocket. Yeah. This is this because is how you play artificial all. scarcity, okay? You <laughs> create hyper dick bullets. Make a funny dick joke on a on a live stream about toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very popular place to you know influence on the internet, as we yes. all know. I still laugh because that was a complete off the. It's just me being an asshole and kind of took off. I'm like, all right, I'll take it. Super oh, spike. There's now sucker says Walmart. I mean, pretty much. Oh god! Ah, dropping these pieces is nerve wracking. You think I'm gonna just lose pieces? 
models are such a a few like a year or so ago i did one of the um i don't remember what company does the transformer one they're like very anime looking like intense versions of the uh main yeah. character oh, those are but I, I did the bumblebee one uh oh. It's the first model I've done since I was probably 15 years old. So it was like, uh, yeah, Flame Toys. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Uh, for Givens, bro. But like, yeah, the, uh, but it was so much fun to do. And I just sat there for like a night. Katrina was working on a, like one of those like bookshelf scene, like street th scenes that you put in between your books. Oh, yeah. 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 Like cool. she was doing that and I was doing this. And we were just kind of talking and shitting around and like just, you know, shooting the shit and, watching mm. shows and movies and stuff and it was, it was a lot of fun but uh yeah that bumblebee was a lot of fun i've kind of kind of want to do one of the other ones um just to do it like but i really don't collect a whole lot of transformer stuff like they i have do, a few they things. do uh joe's too they did a, a snake that's eyes right they did the motorcycle and the awe striker and the uh and the storm shadow and snake eyes i think i heard the motorcycles were not great but um i've heard i've heard the figures are are fun to do yeah. I don't know if that means that they're any good quality wise. Well, I mean, there's so many other super articulated G.I. Joe figures in every scale. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so the end product isn't going to be any more or less than like a classified or an Ultimates or even like a, a POC figure or something like that, you know, in the end. Oh, for sure. But it's, it's the act of sitting there and doing it. Like, oh, no, for sure. That, was, that, that I think is uh, the, the point. No, I, I, I agree. Like, I, there's legit a part of me that's just like, I, I am going to be completely honest. I am absolutely exhausted uh, right now. Like, I am ready to fall over and go to bed. But at the same time, I'm like, maybe I'll just work on this figure for a little longer. <laughs> maybe the uh, model. Yeah. I also appreciate with those Transformer ones is that they're a little, uh, visually, they're a little different than, like, they, you know, it just doesn't look like exactly like Optimus, the Optimus Prime we've always seen. Yeah. Over, you know, they kind of take these like liberties stylistically with it, which is at least there is that difference that you're getting out of it. I think that's why I'm excited about this. Just it's it's zero, you know, like the Jada Toys Mega Man figure that dropped fire, absolutely yeah. beautiful figure, super fun to play with, like. <laughs> Growing up, my mom worked for a rep firm. Like, I grew up with Capcom soundtracks and all that crap just around me nonstop. But, like, the only figures that were really out over here in the States were the, like, the, I think, was it Bandai that did them? The, yeah. From the cartoon? Yeah. Right. Like, they came out and, like, I would have killed for a Zero. Like, I, I love the Zero character. So it was just Same like, here. oh. Well, this is a really cool opportunity now, and it's like, ah, you know, will will Jada do one? More than likely, yes. But will I have fun making this and be able to be like, yeah, I did that. Yeah, like I'm having fun with it. And those Jada Street Fighter figures and stuff are gorgeous too. I man, I want the, I want to collect that line so bad, and I just have been I can't I cannot get into it like financially. But I God, I man, so nice. I was not going to. And then I found Ken. I was like, oh, shit, yeah. Like, I'll get Ken uh, and Ken and Ryu. That's that's awesome. That's a good pairing. And then I found Fei Long, and I was like, oh, that's cool. I'll, I'll put I'll put a Casting Cave uh, Bruce Lee head on it. Boom. Got a cool got a cool Bruce Lee figure, right? And and uh, then I was like, ah, oh, but, you know, I'll put the Fei Long head back on it. Uh, and then I was like, well, I guess I'm just missing Chun Li. And Matt's like, hey, man, did you say you needed a Chun Li? I got you a Chun Li. I'm just like, damn it. Damn it. I'm like, well, well it's, it's, and it's funny too, because you said financially about it too. And I was thinking that too. I'm like, I'm not going to do this. I already did this with Soda before. Yeah. And I just remember like missing the DJ so badly. And then they show off all the, the you know, Jada's like, we're doing these. And yeah. now they're selling well. And I'm like, oh, you're doing every single character that I want. Yeah. And now it's what? I mean, with taxes, we're looking at seventy dollars every five months, six months. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, I just can't do it. Yeah, <laughs> said, like, no, yeah it's not, not so bad. Like, that. it's actually not because they're not expensive. In uh, right. you know, twenty four ninety nine is a perfectly reasonable price. Uh, this, 
you know, nowadays. Yeah, right. And yeah, I yeah. tell myself, like, uh, maybe if they do a cami, like when they, I know they showed, they showed the prototype, like, I'm like, may, maybe when cami comes out, she was always just, I always played her and Dalsum, like, that was who I always yeah. was, and I'm like, that Dalsum is so nice. Like, yeah. Some, someone, oh, yeah. someone That's the awesome. other day found a Dalsum here, like, just, yeah. just chilling at Target, I'm like, ah, yeah. like, those aren't supposed to be out for another month. <laughs> like, I, like my character was uh, Vega, and like the soda Vega was awesome. And then I lucked out, and the SHF Vega was awesome because the SHF yeah. line was like, I didn't go anywhere with that. I was like, I'm not doing it again. Like, I did the same yeah. thing with Mortal Kombat. I was like, I'm not doing this again. And then Storm started making the, all those ninjas, and I was like, nope, I'm not gonna do it because I know you're not gonna finish it. And then they started making yeah. Mortal Kombat 3, like Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm in. So I started getting them, and then the other day, what was it, the Mortal Kombat like logo or whatever? It was like, I guess Storm lost the license or has to renegotiate. And I was like, <sighs> out of a monkey. But I did get all my favorite yeah. characters. I did. Oh, I never shit. thought I'd get Kano. I never thought I'd get Kano, and I didn't think. Damn sure didn't think I'd get a Night Wolf. Fortnite, you saw those at in Minot? M Bison and Dalsim already? What? Uh, well, I'm going. Yeah, to I have them on pre order. Yeah, with, uh, BBTS think, uh, Entertainment Earth. Oh yeah, BBTS has got them up too. Yeah, Which I've already nice. got like a full uh, loot crate. Oh know, yeah, <laughs> filling up. You know, with pre-orders, I've, I've got all the um, all the uh, Turtles of Grey Skull figures that I couldn't find in stores. Um, like actually, it was funny after I did the pre-order. Um, Cheyenne uh, sent me a picture. She was at Target. Say, like, hey, do you have his He-Man? I'm like. I have my pre-order. I'm gonna be good and have you not get him. I don't need to. <laughs> not buy him twice. Yeah. Oh, dude, I actually I gotta show you something, Steve, because I oh shit, where'd I put it? Never mind. <laughs> okay. No hard no oh, foul. I, I put him I put him right over there. I know exactly where he is. <laughs> I tried to be organized with this shit. So, so I'm sticking just to the mutants, but I customized that mutated He-Man and put it on the 40th anniversary He-Man buck. Now I have a full-size mutated He-Man. That is pretty badass, actually. Yeah, I love um, that. I think that's cool. I saw the pictures, I think, after your stream. Uh, yeah, very I, impressive. I, nice. I topped the toe, so he still has the busted out toe. Yeah. The only thing is it is a little robotastic because I haven't gone back and fixed the harness. Ah. <laughs> but... It'll it'll be fine. It's fine. I'll get to it someday. Absolutely. Oh. There's other customs to make in the meantime. Oh, there's always customs to make in the meantime. <laughs> uh, he says it was... I, oh, dude, I, I legitimately have my notebook now where I can get to it, where I actually know where it is. And that is a horrible thing to have when you're a customizer because it's like, oh, hey. You know, all those customs that come to you randomly in the middle of the night or when you're working on something else and you go, oh, I'll get to that. Yeah, now I actually have a way to keep track of that and go, oh, no. Dude, I have I have a I have like two notebooks in every room and two in my <laughs> and two in my backpack. <laughs> I like to, like to make sure that I always uh, keep everything. Up. I would love to make customs for myself. That's that's something I can't wait. I think maybe when I when I retire from my my actual job um and i can sit around all day like that would be a fun thing to do is keep repairing toys and then i get to do some some of those customs that i've wanted to do for about a decade at this point <laughs> and now i've got all these better figures i'm like ooh, i'll find like uh just these plastic ziplocs within ziplocs and within ziplocs and it's all the parts that i had for figures and i was like oh yeah this is gonna be a really good custom and now there's a better base body out i'm like well yeah you know there's that but is is this better or worse right yeah i know like all there... i want to do like i'm trying to get somebody to make me a sam fisher head i just want a sam fisher from some from splinter cell so freaking bad it's not even funny it's not even that hard it's like a sneak suit with the head and the goggles that's all i need that's it it's a generic older clean cut george clooney looking guy that's all i need <laughs> It's like man, there's got to be someone with a head sculpt that's like close enough, you know. Yeah, just especially get, with, uh, and it's gonna be on a Joe body at this point because they're so like 
It's perfect, yeah. man. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like just the top of like this snake eyes here that I found yeah. so many of these the other day for what was it like? The Ross had like these for thirteen bucks with timber. Nice. And so I just like grabbed up. I just messaged my friends. I was like, "Who wants them?" And people just hit me up for those. And then my buddy who paid for the whole thing, he's like, "Oh no, I just want the snake eyes. Keep the timber." And I was like, "The freaking school. what? Finder's <laughs> fee? All right, let's go." <laughs> Man, that's wonderful. Hasbro should just start. They really just need to have like an animal. I don't want to say Animal Kingdom line because you know. When we step out <laughs> but they need an animal. They need an animal line. These things are nuts, man. Like Ixnay Billy, there's a Kickstarter going till six a.m. By the way, go support them, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Woo! Oh my gosh, things are looking great. I think on that note, we're we're gonna close it out. I'll throw it around to you guys so you can. Let people know what you got going on, what you got coming around. We'll we'll start with Eric because he looks like he's gonna fall asleep. Eric, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm zoning out, but uh, <laughs> I'm usually it? asleep by now. So, uh, yeah, I mean, up. I'm on Facebook, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Eric around of there. <laughs> Noise, Billy. Yep, I'll be repairing stuff uh, as usual, and uh, you can see all that stuff on Instagram at the, under this name, Bill Maru Toy Canics here. We got a Discord, and we've also uh, got a Sunday stream that we do every Sunday at 2 p.m. Central Time. And we are actually going to have a special guest coming up soon, but I'm not going to reveal who it is until we get a date. But please stop by and uh, watch us um, talk about stuff. Come join the conversation. We love it when people hop in there with us. So uh, thank you. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Steve. I'm Steve. Nailed I'm on it. Instagram. Dr. Frank and Denim. I post pictures of other people. I post pictures of toys. I post <laughs> pictures of my wife and her cosplay. I also work with Critical Care Comics, the wonderful charity in Las Vegas and expanding across the country slowly but surely, where we help kids out during the hardest times of their lives for at least 32 pages at a time. Uh -huh. Consider yeah. donating to Critical Care Comics for a genuinely good cause and looking at my Instagram for sparse updates. And the link is in the video description below for all these guys, as per usual. Um, as always, you can find me on Instagram at the Dave Wheeler, on Twitter at Dave Wheeler. I don't really post there that much. Uh, over on Blue Sky at Dave Wonder on Patreon, patreoncom Wonder for just one dollar a month, you can join up with the Discord. For five dollars a month, you can get entered in a random giveaway. This month's giveaway is an actually an old custom that I did right here on Chop and Shop. Um, so uh, make sure to stay tuned. That'll be announced actually, I believe Friday. Um, I scheduled out the post, so check that out. Um, yeah, more, most importantly, you can find me over on Extra Life, extra-life.org slash participant slash Dave Wonder. Last year, we raised over $10,000 for children's cancer treatment and research by talking toys, talking nerdy, and having a good old time. Um, as always, thank you so much to the COJ for being a part of the conversation. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Billy, uh, for hanging out. Thank you to Mitch for being the mod with the most. Um, and just, yeah, thanks, everybody. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Hit the bell notification. Hit up all these guys on all their social medias. Again, the links are in the video description below. Um, and yeah, until tomorrow night, gripping and ripping, same bad time, same bad channel. It's going to be a good time. Um, yeah, be good. Be kind. Much love from Minnesota. Good night.